My name is Drew. I'm Keith. Nice to meet you, Keith. Nice to meet you. This is really cool. You want to walk me through this? Yeah, so this is our Flyer Explorer. It's basically okay. a mini toy hauler. We've got a nice little, we'll come around to the back side here. Sure. We've got a nice little ramp door. So this thing's rated for 1,100 pounds. You can get your dirt bikes, motorcycles, bicycles, whatever it might be up in there. Okay. We've got a tip out bed. So when that's folded up into the unit, it only sticks about eight inches in. And you tip that out, you've got a nice size bed for two people. There's a second tip out you can do on this side if you want, and then you can get enough sleeping for four. For four, okay. Yeah. Is there a, a bathroom in there, or a porta potty? No or? bathroom, these are very simple. Okay. No systems, you know, okay. you don't have to worry about water, you don't have to worry about flushing out tanks. Okay. You kind of just hook up and go. So it's, less is more. Less is more. You there got you it. go, that's yep. cool. How much weight will that hold? That is rated at uh, 1,100 pounds. 1,100, okay. I'm sorry, I misquoted this. This is 2,200 pounds on the door, okay. 1,100 on 11 the bed. 1,100 on the bed, yep. okay, cool. Got. So then on the outside, we try and make the kitchen set up real basic and simple as well, kind of keeping with that theme. So you got a slide out kitchen, this table stoves over the top of this when you're going down the road. So it's actually a two burner stove right there. You got a 50 quart pneumatic <coughs> refrigerator. And when you're all set up and done with this, Table back on top, that just pushes in, and you're done. Real easy. Real See how easy that is? So up top you got a roof rack. Here you're going to see we're showing the Batwing awning from Rhino Rack. That's a 270 degree awning. Oh wow. And that would open up and come all the way over here and cover this entire kitchen area. Oh good, so you don't have to cook out in the sun, you, you get cook some out in the shade, sun. or if it's yeah. raining out, you, you can it. cook in the rain. and You got it. Wow, that's really cool. And it uh, looks off-road. It is very off-road. So one thing about okay. Hemtech, it's very different build from those. Okay. It's going to be an all-aluminum frame and cage construction. So a typical RV is going to be a base frame that's usually made out of steel. Right. And then they'll build all the interior components and all the wall will be screwed and stapled down to the floor. Okay. This starts out as a fully welded cage. So it's a very strong design. You can take this off road. You're not going to worry about the frame twisting, cabinets falling out, anything like that. It's, it's durable enough to go wherever you want to go. With it. It's built to last. It's built to last. Take it. Out. There you go. And what can you tow it with? Most things. So it's only 1,900 pounds. Okay. We've got about a 2,900 pound GVWR. Okay. So you know most midsize SUVs, Jeeps, any product like that is going to be able to tow this no problem. So when you want to get out and boondock, yep. You got it. Is there a place for water on board? There isn't, so most customers will end up adding road showers to the tops of these. Okay. So then they got some showering and there's little portable water things you can bring along bring with you. Along. Okay. Yep. Okay. So it's just basically, I mean, it's less is more less is with more. this. You're going to put your toys in here, hook up your Jeep, and go right out to the desert where nobody's around. You got it. There you go. That's awesome, man. Yep. Thank, thank hey, you very much. Thank I you. really appreciate Not it. Not a problem.